Hi everyone, myself V. Krutike Priya doing MTech VLSI at Veltech Dr. R. R. N. S. R. Technical University in the department of ECE. My project title goes on like design of an all digital phase lock loop as a frequency synthesizer using self healing circuit. And I am being guided by L. Jiban Priya Devi, ME Assistant Professor, School of Electrical Engineering. My a presentation goes on with the content as abstract existing system and its drawback, proposed system, block diagram, simulation results and the software required. And my abstract, as we know all digital system uses a clock to sequence the operation and synchronize between functional units and between the ICs. The PLL which I am going to design in my project is an all digital phase lock loop simply known as AD PLL which consists of a digital control oscillator DCO and a DCO corrector signal shaping digital filters are being presented. And this is the existing system. A phase lock loop is widely employed in wireline and wireless communication. As we know, in the existing system is an analog system which uses a VCO for the voltage control operation. And as we know, this particular VCO cannot oscillate an all range of frequencies. And the frequency range which has been provided by the VCO is also less. For a frequency, sorry, for a free scalar, the undesired leakage current may limit its frequency range or alter the original state of the floating nodes to have a malfunction. And this is the schematic design of the existing system. As I said, this is an analog system. I have taken the charge pump circuit for schematic result and I have been done with the Proteus software. I will be expanding with the waveform. Now the simulation result of the previously shown slide has been done over here. The blue color wave is the input wave which is a perfect square wave and the yellow color wave is the output wave. As I said, I have used a self feeling technique which, is op which, is, which will be overcoming the error that has been occurring in the circuit. This, yellow, this particular yellow color wave, wave indicates that the output from the, PL, uh, from the charge pump has some sort of leakages which will be overcome in the self feeling technique of a digital one with my next slide. As is an existing system drawback, as I said, there will be leakage current and a poor device matching the proposed system. In my proposed design, I am here to implement an all digital PLL technique with a self correcting DCO. And I have used a DDS synthesizer. DDS is a digital. Da direct digital synthesizer in which it is being used to provide a wider range of frequency and this is a basic block diagram of a PLL as we know this particular phase frequency detector will be taking the uh, input frequency and the reference frequency if the input frequency and the reference frequency has been equal it will lock that particular range and will be giving it to the charge pump and in which the charge pump or the low pass filter will be taking some of the errors in, this, in the waveform and it will be giving to the voltage control oscillator which will be controlling the voltage to partic some particular area and it will be giving to the divide by n counter. The divide by n counter is the one which drops the output to a pulse of zero at the end of the clock pulse and the output from the divide by n counter has been given back to the PFD. I am moving on with my this is a proposed system block diagram as I said delay detector since I have I am using it all digital phase lock loop which consists of all the block diagram of the digital I have taken a delay detector and delay detector takes the input of a clock input and from a delay detector I will be obtaining an output which is given to a signal shaping circuit in order to check whether there is an error in the output uh, output wave or not and that particular output from the signal shaping circuit has been given to the DCO and from the DCO to the DCO corrector and then to the divide by n counter and back to the delay detector I am moving on to my next slide this particular delay detector circuit as the two input F in and F reference VCC will be always one and from the delay detector circuit we can see that we will be obtaining three output up, lock and down this particular up, lock and down any of the output can be taken to the second block the second block of the PLL so I have taken the up as the input to the second block moving on next slide this is a functional block diagram as I say the clock will be the only input of the delay detector and the delay detector will be providing up, down and lock which I am taking up as the input to the loop filter. In this particular loop filter will be providing me a carrier and borrow output in which I am taking only the carrier as the input to the DCO. From the DCO I will be obtaining a temporary output which is being given to a divide by n counter. Divide by n counter is the counter which stops the output pulse at 0 at the nth clock pulse and it has been given to the reference frequency. For the first cycle of the PLL operation it will be taking the clock and the clear input as the 
entire input for the complete cycle from the second so from the second cycle onwards we will be taking the output from the divide by n counter as the second input moving on to the the simulation result of the delay detector as i said the fa and f reference 1 and 1 since both the inputs have been given equal even though there should not be any error in the output circuit but here occurs an error which has been shown red color error mark as delay or glitch in the waveform this should be overcome by the dco corrector moving on to the next slide the simulation result of a loop filter as i said from the delay detector, I will be giving the up as the input to the loop filter. From the loop filter, I have taken the carry and borrow in which I am going to take only the carry as the input to the DCO. Carry has been marked with the red color circle. Moving on to the next slide. And this is a DCO circuit. Here I have taken a DCO with the toggle flip-flop. T flip-flop is nothing but a toggle flip-flop. It inverts the input and the output. And it has been obtained with a temporary output. It's a particular temporary output has been added with the clock to obtain the correct dc output the whole function whole circuit acts as a dc corrector moving on to the next slide and this is a dc output here the clock and clear the two input that has been given and here select line the dc we can see that the dc output has no error which has been self correcting by itself moving on to the next slide this is the final simulation result we can see that the clock and the clear are the input and as I said, I will be providing a wider range of frequency. In order to provide a wider range of frequency, I am taking a select lines in the divide by n counter section for the different range of frequency. When there is a change in the variation of the bit that will be given, there may be a change in the time period. When the time period is been calculated according to a frequency, we will be obtaining a 2.4 GHz to 5 GHz of frequency wave in the output. Moving on to the next slide, I will be showing in the next slide. And we can see the first the first bit line is being given over here we can see in the reference clock the time period difference and when the next set of the bit frequency is being given the time period varies when we calculate the time period as we do in the model sim we can find that there, there is a 5 gigahertz of frequency that has been operated with a wide range of frequency the clock frequency is like 10 gigahertz moving on to the proposed system advantage as i said the, the pll which i have been designed consists of an all digital pll which is a completely digital system as we know the digital system has a wider range of application when there is a no leakage in digital system optic uh, automatically there will be appropriate matching the system and uh, the wider range of frequencies has also been provided in the digital system as i showed in the waveform and the comparison of the existing and the proposed system has been given tabulated the existing system there was a leakage current the proposed system there is no leakage current and the poor device matching since there is a leakage current there will be a poor device matching whatever circuit we design there will be there there may be occurring some leakage in the circuit when there is no leakage in the circuit there will be appropriate matching it can be used in wider range of frequency frequency ranges is very less in the analog system whereas in the uh, digital system the wide range of frequency of 5 gigahertz is being constructed over there as uh, at last i conclude my project like when there is a system like an NL, uh, uh, digital when compared to the analog digital has a wider range of application and as we know the pll has a wider range of application the wired and wireless communication the project which i have done has been given a self-feeling technique there is a no need of complicated technique over the self-feeling is that it automatically detects the error in the complete set of circuitry and it will be overcoming overcoming the error so that there won't be any disruption in the communication line i assure that this this particular system as a wider range of application can be used in any type of application as we know pll has i'm moving on to the next and the software that i have been used for the digital system is a model sync 6.3 version and for the analog circuitry that schematic design i have shown is a proteus software for analog Moving on to my next slide, these are the reference papers that I have been uh, referred just to go through what are the important things that can be taken over to in order to make up the project. These are my reference papers, as I said 13 reference paper I, I have been concluded with the project. With these reference papers, this project has been very much overcome and it has been done successfully i thank all my uh, supporting who have been done and especially my guide who has, been, who has assisted for me to do this project successfully and all my college members and my parents and everyone friends who has rendered their work towards my my successful successness of this project i thank everyone
Thank you very much.